Hi everyone, I'm Jesse at Stropro.com and today I'm going to be showing you the Stropro background stand crossbar pole. This is a four piece set of crossbars that can extend just past 10 feet, can go all the way down to five feet if you want. And we sell these separately as just the crossbars or we can also get them in our background stand kit, which would have the two 10 foot air cushion light stands along with the crossbars and the carrying bag. So whatever way you purchase this, it is the same product. Let's open the box and take a look what it's all about. So these crossbars assemble really easily. Uh, we have a spring loaded push pin right here and you can determine what length you want. Um, so if I decide, okay, I just want it five feet wide, I'm just gonna take the two end pieces because obviously we always have to have these two in the um, final crossbar so that we can mount it. But basically what we're doing is lining up the grooves and you can see these grooves right here. We put those on so that you won't get any twisting. So you're gonna line those up and obviously you can align the hole there too. So that will hit the pin right here, but then we just push that pin down, slide it down, it's gonna lock in and we have no twisting. It's going to be a really strong, um, firm crossbar here because we have that metal piece that goes through there. You're not gonna have any flex in this pole like you could possibly have in the telescoping one a little bit. So if we just wanted to mount like a short little background or hang something over this, there we have our five foot. But if we want to go to the seven foot, what we would do is add in one of these sections. So easy again, we're just going to go here, line that up and I've found the hole on the top, slide in and then lock, the pin pops through again. And then we just go to our other section again because we have to have that spigot piece, line it up, push it in. And you can see if you do it wrong, like I just did there, that's not gonna click in. And it's very important that you find that piece to click in because if you don't, it's going to slide right off. So again, slide, click, you'll see the little pop up come right there. And now we have like our seven and a half foot, which is great if you wanna run um, like a roll of paper, Savage makes seven foot rolls of paper. So this would be a great option. From there, we could just add in the last section and then we have our full 10 feet. It's actually 10.6, so that just gives you a little extra room if you're running a 10 foot backdrop that you could run clamps or whatever you want down the actual vertical um, stand. So from there, let's just mount this onto our light stand and see how we do that. Okay, we're ready to mount the crossbar, but just before we do that, I just wanted to talk about these stands. These are our 10 foot air cushion stands. You can buy these separately, or these would actually be the stands that you get if you buy the background kit. So essentially in the background stand kit, you're getting two of these stands, the crossbar set, and then there's a carrying case that you get with that as well. But you can piece this together if you happen to already have some of those stands. So when we place our stands, we wanna make sure that the locking screws are on the outside, because if you put them in, then you're trying to adjust height and everything with your backdrop in the way. So again, screws on the outside here. The next thing we want to make sure for this crossbar, it doesn't matter on the telescoping, but it does on this one, is that we have the quarter inch thread pointing up. So these are our reversible spigots, so we have a bigger, um, thread on the top and if you try to feed that through there it's not going to fit. We need the quarter inch to feed through so that we can actually put our locking thumb screw on the top. So just make sure that that's pointing up and then we can go ahead and mount our crossbar. I've grabbed a four and a half foot roll of Savage paper and I've shrunk our crossbar down to the five foot length uh, just so that you can see it in the frame here. So basically before we mount anything, we'd want to put that on or slide actually the crossbar through. You can do it, I suppose, if you put one side on first and then slid the paper on. It's just you don't wanna bend this and it's hard to kind of hold that up and to mount it that way. So easiest way, just go like this, get the crossbar through there. From there, what we wanna do is take that hole that we talked about, the big opening, that goes over top of our spigot. And what we wanna do is find that quarter inch. It's going to pop through the other hole. 
From there, we're going over here and you might have to just push the stand out of the way or adjust it a little bit. Going to go over there and find that spigot popping through the hole as well. Then we're going to grab our two thumb screws. Remember I mentioned earlier before, do not lose these. We get people all the time that forget them or misplace them. But all you're going to do with that is go to the top, tighten that on. You don't have to over tighten it at all. You're just going to gently put that on and now it's secured. So from there we can adjust our height. And pro tip here, you do not want to start with the lowest section. You want to kind of gain or judge actually how high roughly you're going to be going. So if you're only going to here, then yes, fine. We could adjust this section first. But if you're going up to 10 feet high, for example, we always want to start with this section first. So we would raise it up a bit, go to the other side. And obviously I would go higher than that. Um, and then you're just going to go back and forth unless you have an assistant, which would be great because then you can adjust them both the same way. And the reason why we do this small section first is because once we get up too high, we're not going to be able to reach that to bring it up. So that's just a tip. And you can see the air cushion as we loosen that down, it's automatically coming down and it's not going to crash and injure anyone. So there you have it. That's to the easiest way to mount background paper, but you can also do basically the same thing with muslin. You would just slide the rod through the sewn pocket on your muslin, or you could use clamps. Whatever you're doing, um, basically it's the same way to mount the crossbar each time. So there you have it. That's everything you need to know about the Strobe Pro background stand crossbar pole. It's a four piece kit. You saw how it connects together quickly, conveniently. And this forms our strongest background pole that we have. Our telescoping one has different diameters that extend out. So you could get a little bit of flex. With this one, it stays strong and secure because we have each section being the same diameter. The great thing is it collapses down and you can actually extend this even further than the 10 feet if you buy two sets. If you need to get out to like a 20 foot background, that's also an option for you. So check out all of our background stand options, whether it's the kit or the telescoping crossbar or this four piece. We have all those options on the website. So until next time, I'm Jesse. Enjoy creating.